Welcome to our guide on where to find gold. The pursuit of gold has captivated humankind for millennia. But where does this glittering prize originate in the natural world? The answer lies hidden within the very fabric of our planet. Understanding geological features is crucial for successful gold exploration. Let's dive into the most important ones. Imagine a river, its course winding through the landscape over countless years. These traces, known as benches, are elevated terraces or step-like features along a river's floodplain or valley. Benches form as a river cuts down into its bed, leaving behind remnants of its former floodplains. These ancient riverbeds, particularly those formed by rivers that once carried gold-bearing sediments, can be treasure troves for prospectors. For within these elevated terraces, gold, heavier than the surrounding sediments, has been slowly concentrated over time. Benches are ideal places for prospecting, offering a glimpse into the river's gold-carrying past. They often contain gold that has been washed out of higher elevations and deposited in these ancient floodplains. Prospectors armed with their pans and sluice boxes find benches to be rewarding hunting grounds. The presence of benches is a telltale sign for those seeking the golden glimmer. So when exploring for gold, keep an eye out for these step-like formations along river valleys. Our Earth is a dynamic, ever-changing planet. Its crust, broken into vast tectonic plates, is in constant motion. Where these plates meet, immense forces are at play, giving rise to geological features known as faults. Faults are fractures in the Earth's crust where two blocks of the Earth have moved relative to each other. These zones of movement are of particular interest to gold prospectors, for they can act as conduits for mineral-rich fluids rising from deep within the Earth. These fluids, often superheated and under immense pressure, carry dissolved minerals, including gold. As these fluids move through faults and cracks in the rock, they encounter changes in pressure and temperature, causing the fluids to precipitate, depositing their dissolved minerals, including gold. Areas of intense pressure and heat associated with fault zones are particularly favorable for gold deposition. Gold deposits associated with faults can be incredibly rich and extensive, making them prime targets for large-scale mining operations. By identifying fault lines and searching for signs of hydrothermal activity, prospectors can narrow down their search and increase their odds of striking gold. In our quest for gold, we often find ourselves drawn to a most unassuming mineral quartz. This common mineral, composed of silicon and oxygen, might seem mundane at first glance, but it holds a special allure for gold prospectors. For within quartz veins, those white, often shimmering lines that cut through many rock formations, gold often finds its hiding place. Quartz veins form when mineral-rich fluids, often superheated water, course through cracks and fissures in the Earth's crust. These fluids, originating from deep within the Earth, carry a dissolved cocktail of minerals, including gold. As these fluids travel upwards, they cool and lose pressure, causing the dissolved minerals to precipitate out of the fluid, forming solid crystals within the cracks. Quartz, being a common mineral in these fluids, often forms the bulk of these veins. Gold, along with other precious metals, is often carried along with the quartz and is deposited within the vein as well. Prospectors often target areas where quartz veins are abundant, particularly those that show signs of hydrothermal alteration, such as iron staining or the presence of other sulphide minerals. So, when you're out prospecting and you come across a gleaming white quartz vein, take a closer look. It might just be hiding a golden surprise. Throughout history, rivers have held a particular allure for gold seekers. These flowing bodies of water are master goldsmiths, collecting, sorting and concentrating this precious metal over millennia. Alluvial deposits, the key to understanding a river's golden touch, refer to materials including gold that have been eroded, transported and deposited by water, typically in rivers and streams. These deposits are formed as rivers carve through mountains and hills, liberating gold from its rocky matrix. Gold, being significantly denser than most other minerals, is less easily transported by the river's flow. As the river's energy decreases, the gold, along with other heavy minerals, 
begins to settle out of the water column. This process of deposition leads to the formation of placer deposits, concentrations of gold within the riverbed and surrounding gravel bars. These placer deposits are the primary target for many gold prospectors. Prospectors searching for alluvial gold employ a variety of techniques, including panning, sluicing and dredging. The allure of alluvial gold lies in its accessibility, allowing individuals with relatively simple tools to undertake placer mining. Deep within the Earth's crust, titanic forces are constantly at work, reshaping the very fabric of our planet. These forces, driven by the movement of tectonic plates, generate immense pressure and heat, transforming rocks and, in some cases, giving rise to concentrations of gold. Among the most promising geological features for gold exploration are shear zones. Shear zones are extensive areas where the Earth's crust has been subjected to intense pressure and shearing forces, often associated with the movement of faults. Unlike faults, which are discrete fractures, shear zones are broader zones of deformation, sometimes extending for kilometers. The intense pressure and heat within shear zones cause significant changes in the surrounding rocks. These zones of intense deformation are particularly favourable for gold deposition. The grinding and movement within shear zones create voids and fractures that act as pathways for mineral-rich fluids, often originating from deep within the earth. As these fluids circulate through the shear zone, they interact with the surrounding rocks, depositing minerals, including gold, within the fractures and voids. Prospectors searching for gold in shear zones often focus on areas where there is evidence of hydrothermal alteration, such as iron staining or the presence of sulphide minerals. The landscape is in a state of perpetual flux, shaped by the relentless forces of erosion, deposition and tectonic upheaval. Rivers, those seemingly eternal features, are no exception. Over geological time, their courses can shift dramatically, leaving behind remnants of their past. Ancient river channels now buried beneath layers of sediment or volcanic rock. These ancient waterways can hold the key to unlocking hidden gold deposits. Ancient river channels are prehistoric river systems that flowed across the landscape millions of years ago. These rivers played a crucial role in eroding, transporting and depositing sediments, including gold. As geological processes continued to shape the landscape, these ancient river channels were often buried by subsequent layers of sediment, volcanic flows, or even tectonic uplift. However, the gold deposits within these buried channels remained, hidden from view, but still present. Prospectors searching for ancient river channels often rely on a combination of geological mapping, aerial photography, and geophysical surveys. If the channel was once rich in gold, these buried places can be incredibly productive, yielding significant amounts of this precious metal. In the grand tapestry of geology, some of the most dramatic and mineral-rich environments are found where disparate forces collide. Contact zones, those fascinating boundaries where different rock formations meet, are a testament to this principle. These zones, particularly those formed where molten rock intrudes into pre-existing layers, can be veritable hotbeds for gold deposition. Contact zones mark the boundary between two distinct rock formations. These boundaries can form in a variety of ways, but those most relevant to gold exploration occur when molten rock, known as magma, intrudes into older, cooler rocks. As magma rises from deep within the earth, it can force its way into cracks, fissures and weak points in the surrounding rocks. This intrusion creates a zone of intense heat and chemical interaction. The heat from the intruding magma can bake and alter the surrounding rocks, creating a metamorphic halo around the intrusion. The magma itself may carry dissolved gold and other metals. As the magma cools and solidifies, it releases hot, mineral-rich fluids that circulate through the surrounding rocks, including the contact zone. As we've journeyed together through the hidden landscapes of our planet, we've uncovered the secrets of gold's origins. By understanding these geological features, you can significantly increase your chances of locating profitable gold deposits. 
Happy prospecting. But our exploration doesn't end here. For a custom gold map video tailored to your specific area of interest, email us at operations at oramium.com.